Hi everyone, um, my name is Yuzli Monfort. Um, uh, my major is psychology. <laughs> Obviously, I, I believe all of you are majoring in psychology. Um, I'm thrilled to be here with you all and wish each of you a happy new year. So, um, according to my knowledge and to what I learned in my previous psychology classes, specifically um, neuropsychology, um, cognitive psychology involves the study of internal mental processes of all the things that go inside the brain. Um, it is the science of how we think, uh, which also include um, the uh, per perception, attention, memory, whether past memory or present, um, language, problem solving, and learning. Um, so during the pandemic, a I, lot of I, behavior changes with myself or whether like family members. So um, COVID-19 has dramatically affect human behavior and mind, relationships and learning process in overall cultures. So um, some examples of um, we got in this, this statement that some people um, have been having difficulties of remembering things. Um, according to uh, New York Times, um, people test uh, positive by COVID-19 result in having um, a problem remembering um, because the virus affects their memory. They have brain frog. Um, and some patients also state that they um, they feel like they have dementia. Still, um, I think there, there should be more study about um, whether it affects people or whether um, this way or whether um, it, people end up diagnosed with dementia because of COVID-19. Um, so um, I can, I myself can be um, an example of how the COVID situation has changed people's behavior quickly. Um, I remember in March when the virus started in New York City and the lockdown was next. So um, at that time I was still attending school and the school has to remain remote um, and my job too. I become very stressed and depressed because all of my routine has tremendous. So I remember in March when the virus started in New York City and the lockdown was next. Um, I was still attending school at the time and the school has to remain remote in my job too. So I become very stressed and depressed because all my routine has tremendously changed at once. Um, I couldn't go to the gym, um, <laughs> which was the most impacted because going to the gym, because going to the gym was always been, um, oh, um, going to the gym always been like ter therapy for me and the best way to gain self energy. So it was devastated. However, COVID helps me reconnect with myself. There's negative part and also, but there's a positivity too from COVID. Um, COVID helps me reconnect with myself, mostly my with my thought, um, because I usually go hard on myself by overthinking everything, good and bad situation, which caused me a ton of anxiety and depression. So the the lockdown makes me creative and help me to analyze myself and learn about myself and people around me like my sisters my mom because i have no choice to be in in the house so i appreciate life more too because of that and the simple moment of everyday living i can say now i have i have more impact empathy and consideration to, towards myself and I never thought much about my accomplishment or appreci even appreciate my effort, whether um, it related to school or my job. But now um, it's the other way around. Um, and praying, praying also keep me through the days, uh, the difficult days um, so far. Um, 
so when it comes to relationship um covid does not affect my routine that much be the fact that um i have never been a physical social person um, to explain that point i use i use technology more i use my phone computer um more to communicate with friends and loved ones before covid so um i don't think there is a lot of changes when it comes to that um i also believed that i will be what well, the reason the reason why i never been a social person like face to face meet with other people it was because i was um I believe that I will be distracted from school if I met an everyday social life, um, which is not true. I think that's why I said that I am always hard on myself when it comes to things like that. Um, so COVID proved me wrong um, because now I wish I could go out more, meet new people, um, share some ideas and have one-on-one -on -one or group conversation with tra strangers <laughs> well i'm now embracing the positivity i'm now embracing the positive side of having a social life and <laughs> i've also become more social <laughs> even though i can't have one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings or group meetings but um thanks to social media and technology well th thanks to te technology mostly um I can now um, have like ch try to have more conversation with people, whether strangers or people that I know all my life, um, and yeah, which I think a lot of us have learned a lot from the past year until now. Um, so I'm now embracing the positive side of having a social life and i have also become more social which i think a lot of us have learned a lot from the past year until now um so the culture uh, the cultural impact of COVID uh significantly changing cultures in the u.s and world war and as if it's an effect changes like the ways population around the world work whether like go to school the way we used to attend school is so much different now um and understand the moral obligation to others uh seek entertainment and most importantly interact with every situation um, or every institution and society um the black lives matter movement is one of the example um, of that the Black Lives Matter is changing many folks for the better. Um, and the great part of it is that their voice can be heard through social media. And I think we all experience, especially the Black folks, we are experienced a lot the past years with police brutality and um, with continuous crime. And now more than ever, the Black Lives Matter movement has changed the way the nation talks about race. Um, so um, I believe COVID did help to um, put people together in a certain way. So my question concerning uh, this course, um, Cognitive Psychology, is that I want to know if cognitive and behavioral psychology are related and if they are, how? My question concerning cognitive psychology, I want to know if cognitive and behaviorist psychology are related. And if yes, I want to know how. Thank you. Um, and I want you to know classmate and professor that i am once again very happy to have this course and to um have this opportunity to meet you all even if via zoom um i'm very happy
to meet you all and i'm looking forward to have a very good semester with you all thank you